Hello everyone, this is here again, another episode of Farming Simulator 15. And we are playing on the MIG map, made in Germany. Where our hired workers, auto tractor that is, are uh, attempting to work on mow this field. Thinking maybe I should just uh, straighten them out here, maybe you'll be happy. Yeah, I heard them at this corner here, that probably is what uh, screwed them up. Anyway, let's see if you'll be happy now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That guy over there, as you can see, is going okay. And like I said, I was going to do, I went ahead and bought another mower. So we got two mowers, two tractors going on this field. Should be able to get it mowed fairly quickly, hopefully. And once we get it mowed, we'll get it tatted up and uh, piled up and all that good stuff as well. Let's uh, check where that... Uh, Planting guys at he is nope, not that one, not that one, not that one either. There we go. Well, he has more or less finished the field. I'm thinking he did it a mite inefficiently from the looks of it, but he has finished the field. <clears throat> so we'll just uh, finish up the outside edge here a minute. And then hopefully we're going to go spray some fields, some weeds, some fertilizer. Whatever we have uh, time to spray here. We definitely should probably get the fields we have growing currently sprayed with some herbicide. Otherwise that will uh, adversely affect our yield. Great question of all time. Is it effect or effect? Never can I remember myself which one's which. It's one of those uh, great English grammar rules there. Not one of my uh, best subjects, that's for sure. I always uh, preferred math myself. Get all the good algebra and geometry and analytical geometry. And oh boy, how many different math classes I've taken, I don't even remember anymore. But... Oh yes, trigonometry, can't forget that one. I think about the only math class I haven't taken is anything in calculus. I don't believe I've taken any of those type of classes. Now looking at this, I think I figured out what happened here, going down to doing the headland here. I think I just got an idea what caused him to go uh, wrong. I think it's the turn he was doing, I'm betting. We got some missing here yet too, don't we? Let's see, uh, we'll go back over and see if I can uh, explain this in a way that'll make uh, sense for you guys as to what I think might have happened now that I look at this over here. Okay, so yeah, so you get over here, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking what happened here. He obviously did the first, oh, probably half a dozen or so rows correctly. But you notice each time he gets a little bit more turned. A little bit more, a little bit more, and finally he's off on a tangent that uh, he shouldn't be going on. So I'm thinking when he's doing his turns, each time he turns a little bit more... And he gets screwed up a little bit more. Eventually he thinks he should be going at 45 degrees instead of uh, straight up and down. He 
Yes, I think, and that's what happened. I'll have to see once if we can uh, fiddle around with the turn options on this thing. If we get something a little bit better. Anyway, that should do it for this field. Uh, there's a few missing bits and bobs here. I'm not going to worry about that at all. In fact, I'm probably not even going to worry about bringing this back. We'll just park this uh, right here. And you'll probably notice as I was tabbing through the vehicles, I do have the other John Deere here set with the rake. He is ready to go. And I got the windrow here too as well. So let's say get this field finished. We're going to see if we can use Auto Tractor to tet it. Don't recall if I've ever tried that before. Uh, theoretically, I would think it would work, but I'm not sure. And the other one's up over at the other corner there. Okay, and at the sprayer here, uh, Meg Map does have the weed mod on it. So as you can see, these are weeds in our, I think this is wheat here. Whatever it is, it's either wheat or barley, whatever, whichever one it is, we got weeds in it. And this will adversely affect your yield. In fact, it probably has already, if I had to guess. Usually once the weeds get to this stage, not a good thing. But I definitely want to get them out of there before we harvest, because that will probably affect our yield even more yet if we leave them. So... We got this nice looking Amazon Pantera 4502 here. This was a Christmas present from Giants. I received it in an email, so. I'd like to thank uh, Giants for the uh, nice looking Christmas present. Like I said, it looks like the in game one in 2013. I'd have to pull it up to know if it's actually the same one or not. It looks a little bit different to me, so I don't think they just upgraded the textures on it. I'm pretty sure they actually did a few things to it. This thing looks quite nice. Interesting place for the muffler. Hmm. Now, this would be the uh, tank here, I would assume, for the fertilizer or spray or whatever we're putting down. Looks like the uh, muffler pipe actually comes up through the middle of the tank. Wouldn't seem like you'd want that, because the muffler pipe I would think would be hot. Don't want to be uh, preheating your liquids in there. I don't know. That's just my opinion looking at it. Let's uh, turn that on. Ooh, that looks quite nice. And yeah, you don't see no uh, texture change on the ground here. The only thing you'll be seeing is the weeds turn kind of a darker grayish shade. Let's see if I can get a... Oh, it's actually taking them down too. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, before I... I don't think it took them down. I think it just uh, darkened them. And then once you advance at a growth cycle, then it will actually uh, go away with the weeds. Looks like probably move out just a little bit. Got a nice uh, 40 meter, or 41 meter actually, width on this thing. Seven miles all is all the faster we can go, though. Seems kind of slow to me. I'm mean, just compared to some of the other speeds that we can go in the game. Mind you, this is probably a little more realistic. That I don't doubt, but yeah, those sprays look really cool. I like that. It looks like it has the adjustable nozzles on there. Got uh, different nozzles for different types of applications and sprays and all that good stuff. I don't know enough about it to know what all the different sprays and stuff are, but uh, yeah, I know they got different nozzles for different types of sprays and conditions and all that good stuff. It looks like there's at least uh, so probably four of them on there from the looks of it. Now, if I open up F1 here, you can see I'm currently filled with herbicide, and we're spraying herbicide on, not spraying fertilizer. That's part of the weed mod, which is part of this map. Now, I'm not sure if you can use Auto Tractor with this or not. I have tried in the past. Uh, very mixed results. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 
this actually might work. Because we got a marker over there. Swing my view around. Yes, we got a marker over there in one in the middle. Uh, before, a lot of times there would be markers throughout this entire boom length. And that usually didn't work good. So, actually, can you hire a regular hired worker? Let's find that out. No, it doesn't look like you can hire a regular normal hired worker. I know like the pellet fertilizer and stuff, you can hire a normal worker for that. So, doesn't look like you can actually hire a regular worker in this case. can hire an auto tractor worker though. But like I said, that may or may not work. I've had mixed results with that in the past. But just looking at the markers, I think it actually might work in this case. Like I said, the problem in the past was there would be markers for each boom section. And I'm thinking that's what uh, would screw Auto Tractor up. There must be a little dip down getting into this field here. Now, I haven't used the other in-game sprayer yet, so I'm not sure what that's like, but I'm definitely liking this one. I like what they've done with those spray nozzles there. I think that looks pretty cool. And we'll definitely have to do some fertilizer here, too, I think. It doesn't look like it's been fertilized to me, so... Wow, are we burning through the herbicide? My goodness, I just happened to look down there. Uh, it was full when we started. I oh, what was the fill? I think it was 4,000? Or is it 4,000? I don't remember now if it's 4,000 or 4,500. We'll figure that out when we go back and fill it up again. Yeah, we're less than 50% full already. Ah, oh, it's got to be 4,500 for 50%. Yeah, really burning through the herbicide. Yeah, we're going quite slow, too. It seems to me in 2013 that this thing would usually clip around about uh, 14, 15 miles an hour. I'm not sure what uh, speed farmers usually go in the field of spraying, but they usually see them booking right along. And this is, I'm assuming, the max speed, too, because if you look down there, it says uh, speed limiter is set to 32. We're only doing 7, so... And the back of this thing does go up and down too. I don't think I mentioned that, or maybe I did. So you can raise and lower it. Just out of curiosity, if I lower it all the way down, what happens when I fold it up? Just uh, find out. So that would be all the way down, and wow, that is like on the ground almost. Fold up. Well, it hasn't raised it up yet, so this should be interesting. Oh, there it raises it up. Okay. Actually, you know what? Maybe instead of raising it up, let's hold it back out here. And we'll uh, spray this field. And yes, yeah, looks like I missed a few weeds here and there. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Like I said, I think uh, the damage might have already been done to these fields, so... I want to give Auto Tractor a try here, so. Looks like I think he's got everything set up correctly. You want to turn that way? Yep. Let's hire him and see what happens. I th think he's thinking at the moment, I'm assuming. Uh. Where is all my money going? <laughs> uh, if folks look at the top there. Oh my goodness. 
Ah, okay. Uh, it, uh, for some reason, it's completely emptied my sprayer, and the money is counting down like crazy. Okay, I don't think you want to use auto tractor on this. Uh, that does not look good. Oh, you got dirty awfully suddenly, too. Weird. Very weird. That didn't uh, speed up time. Is that what it was doing? Nah, that don't make sense. Huh. And <laughs> that's uh, interesting. Thinking that's a bug there somewhere with something. I don't know if that's the sprayer here or auto tractor, but something's definitely not right there. Uh, interior looks quite nice on this thing. It'd be kind of or kind of cool. It'd be really cool if that monitor there would kind of work and do some stuff. Actually, both monitors for that matter. Oh, does it even say your speed? Oh, it does have your speed on there. I don't know if anything else works, though. Now, the little light icons don't do anything. Oh, well. Okay, now spray fill point I think was in here somewhere. And we are filling with brass seed? I guess that's the icon for it. Okay. Well, I want to switch to fertilizer. We're going to fill up with fertilizer. Okay, and I just want to try something a minute, considering what happened to that thing. I want to see if this thing here will uh, work properly with auto tractor. I don't think I have any tractors left here, though. That's fine. We got mod tractors we can try. Let's see. What shall we get? Oh, you know what? I picked up these uh, fence here uh, a couple of days ago. Got a fence 930, 933, 939. We have a Massey Ferguson as well. Could ooh, that's uh, we got the Lamborghini here. This is the uh, smaller version of the one I currently have, I believe. Let's see what's here. Where's the one I currently have? Oh yeah, the one I currently have is in the um, is not considered a mod. That's right. So we're gonna get that one, and we're gonna save the other tractors for another time for the moment. Okay, let's uh, sort you boys out a minute. Interestingly enough, you caught up. Now, with Auto Combine, you always had the feature of a... It was called the Distance Keeper. Unfortunately, you don't appear to have that. I can't turn the collision check on and off when in the round-the-round-the-field round the field mode. Again, I don't know why, but... Yeah, it's too bad they don't have a distance checker on here like they did with Auto Combine. Basically, allow you to run multiple combines at once, and if it detected the other combine in front of it, it would uh, stop the combine that was behind for uh, something like what just happened, happened. Okay, nice little Lamborghini tractor here. Uh, again, this is uh, from Farming Simulator itself, Giants. So I'd expect it to be of fairly good quality. Lamborghini. Now we do have field, quite a few fields to spray here, so probably a good idea to get two of these guys going on this. Nice fill up here. Get fuel there. I want fertilizer, though. Okay, guess I'm going to have to move this big guy out of the way. Yeah, I'm still kind of curious why he got dirty all of a sudden like that. That's kind of weird. And I don't know if you guys seen the amount of money he was wasting, but oh my goodness. Nope, not there. It's fuel. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, and let's... Yeah, we'll do fertilizer. That'll be fine. And let's get one of those doohickeys here. Where can I put that? Can't put that anywhere in there. Can I? Okay, can I put this over here somewhere? Oh, I can do it right there. It's a pretty good place to me. Bar full. Yeah, the fill point for the fertilizer is kind of out in the middle of nowhere, if you ask me. Uh, the fertilizer tank is inside that building there. Just see it through that door over there as I went past. Uh, 24 beaners for this sprayer, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, 24. And you can get that extra tank there to hold more. Well, it really doesn't hold that much more, so... Okay, I can raise and lower it in the back there. Okay, oh, and you can hire a regular hired worker for this. Shall we do that? That might not be a bad idea. This will be an auto tractor worker, by the way, if you change that to auto. Let's see what the auto tractor does here. Again, I like to use auto tractor when the fields are not square, like this uh, field here is. Although it, it is somewhat square, but it's at an angle, so... Looks like he's doing a pretty good job. Let us uh, switch back to this guy then. I think we're going to give him a bath first. I rather liked looking at my clean Amazon sprayer. After all, brand spanking new almost. And I can't read any comments today. I forgot my uh, tablet again, so sorry about that. I will have to uh, try to remember to read them next time. I cleaned up nice and quickly. You know what? I just happened to think of something. I wonder this guy I'll hire now. That he's filled with fertilizer. I wonder if that makes a difference. In normal mode, that still doesn't show the power icon there. That normally means he probably can't be hired. Yeah, not showing up there. But now, can we hire a regular, or not a regular, an auto tractor hired worker? Let's see what's here. Turn the right way. Yep. And it is, yes, fertilizer. And the money just goes down like crazy in my fertilizer. Okay, yeah, don't hire any workers with this guy then. We're going to go uh, fill up again here, I guess. That is ridiculous. Definitely a bug there somewhere. Not sure if that'd be Auto Tractor's fault or this thing, though. Like I said, no idea. Definitely something wrong somewhere there. Kind of a weird bug, too. It empties your sprayer. Is it dirty? No, it's not dirty yet. Interestingly enough. And here I was thinking it might actually work with Auto Tractor because it had the booms right from the looks of it. Yes, not. Interior doesn't look too bad on there.
So you got all your sprayer options on this uh, smaller monitor here to the right. I was just uh, looking at that. Got wheel width. I don't think you can actually adjust that on here. I don't think. Let's see. Toggle map. Please forestry fold. Sprayer. Turn on. Sprayer. Turn off area limit. No oh, area limitation. Interesting. I forgot this thing had that. And I have no idea what that does. Turn off area limitation. I wonder if I turn that on, he'll work. Hmm. Like I said, I have no idea what that does. I may have to uh, experiment around with that, see if I can figure out what that does. Five mile an hour. Come on now. We're going seven before the world. There we go. Okay. I'm thinking that's as far as he got before he emptied. Possibly he's stuck over there? That's kind of weird. I'm talking about the other guy with the other sprayer there, by the way. That's who I was referring to. Uh, we're spraying herbicide here again, by the way. I decided to spray herbicide since that guy can do the fertilizer. Turn off area limitation. Turn on area limitation. Well, I'm not entirely sure what that's doing, but it's doing something, I guess. Uh, which I cannot determine yet. Oh, he's still running yet? Oh, come on now. He better not sit there wasting spray. Bet he is. Uh, let's run over here quick a minute. Yeah, you're out of spray. Why exactly did you stop, though? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, it's like right in there, somewhere's about. Now, I'm not sure if he'll let me rehire him without any spray in there, but I guess we'll find out. I will. He doesn't go anywhere. Interesting. Let's just uh, try something here. We're going to fill him back up and see if that makes a difference. I wonder if he gets empty, he just stops and sits there. That's the case. That's not uh, particularly cool because he is sitting there wasting spray. He is obviously taking it out of the money up there. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but he was definitely uh, training out the money. But yes, I realize this isn't really an issue uh, this time around, but in the future it might be. That's the uh, spray tank in there, by the way. You would think the fuel trigger would be out here somewhere, but it actually it's fuel here. Not exactly sure where the fuel tank is, but that does give us fuel here. There we go. Uh, I bet fuels that rusty can thing sitting in the uh, corner there. Probably what that is. Okay, you are full again. Let's uh, just see what's what happens. Now that you're full, if you will keep going.
change sides there because he needs to turn that way. Let's see what happens. Okay, he is going. He is doing some weird stuff though. Just see what's what a regular hired worker will do. Let's shut him back to normal. Not sure how well this will work considering the shape of this field, but we'll find out, I guess. Interesting. He goes 7 miles an hour with this sprayer, too. Okay. Uh, whatever, I guess. And why the thing keeps switching to 5 miles an hour, I'll have no idea. Anyway. Definitely not my uh, idea of speed there. If we're gonna go seven, we might as well go seven. Which I think is slow enough. I'd rather go, you know, like 10 or 14. That is uh, one thing I hear a lot of people always complain about too, you know, speed of the equipment in this game. Not very realistic. You know, it all depends on how realistic you, Lee, you play it. Uh, Speed-wise, I probably don't do a very good job of that sometimes. But then the uh, one question I do have for you folks out there that really like to stress your realism. If this game was realistic, you think you'd actually play it? Because uh, I, for one, I don't think I would. <laughs> Five miles an hour again? Sheesh. I mean, it's fun to be somewhat realistic, uh, but you know, I really only want to push that so far before it, uh, yeah, it doesn't become any fun anymore. Let's uh, be realistic about it. The amount of money it costs to put crops in the ground in this game is very little. Uh, seeds are not really that expensive. Um, even working up your ground isn't entirely that expensive. The entire process isn't that expensive. In you know, real life, it is quite expensive to uh, even put seeds in the ground, which is definitely not you know realistic. Uh, this game. And especially if you do all the work yourself as far as the planting and stuff. You know, seeds in this game, a couple thousand at the most to plant a field. And then if you put fertilizer on it, that's about it. Whereas you can expect, you know, a field like this probably... Oh, what is this? This is wheat or barley? Uh, no idea again. I can never tell the difference between wheat and barley when they're growing. Unless you got them side by side, then I can usually tell. Yeah, I feel like this probably cost a couple thousand to plant. And you'd probably make, uh, oh, I don't know, 50, 100,000 off this field. Yeah, those types of profits don't happen that uh, much in real life. Not that uh, extreme, anyway. Let's just, you know, say it cost you 10000 to plant the field and you make 100000 off of it. That's a $90,000 profit there. Not going to happen in real life. Not that extreme, anyway. Unless uh, something's seriously wrong and prices have gone way up or something. Anyway, folks, I think we better call it an episode there. If you have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.